Hey guys, welcome to another theory of computation tutorial. Today we'll be looking at another example of milli machine. So let's get started. So this is the example. Construct a milli machine for a binary input sequence such that if a substring 101 is there, then the machine output should be x. If the input has substring 110, then the output should be y. Otherwise, the output should be z or z. All right. So let's construct the basic milli structure or milli machine. Let's say you are in starting state A. Okay, all right. Now you get input one, you go to state B. Okay, then you get input zero, you go to state C. You get input one, you go to state D. Now if you get that is the sequence has one zero one, then you put the machine output as X. So let's write it down X. Okay, what about if the input has substring one one zero, what happens then? So let's say you are in starting state A, you get one, you go to state B. From B, you get another one. You go to state E. Okay, and then you get zero. You go to state F. Okay, so one, one, zero, you write the output as Y. Okay, and for any other condition, the output is going to be Z. So over here, Z. O oh, yes, Z. Any other condition, it is Z. Now, if you see, D and F are extra states. You don't need them. Why? We can make it short by actually combining or transferring the output from state E, that is one one, that is of basic structures, basic minimal part one one. From E, we can directly go to C, and from C also we can come back to our B and A. How how do we do that? So let's say. Let's change the color. Let's say, yeah, green color. Okay. So let's say if you are in starting state A. Okay. And you get one, you go to state B. This is a minimum structure required, correct? B. Okay. Now over here, if you get another one, you go to state E. Correct? And away if you get zero, you go to state C. Yeah. Now to reduce or to remove this D and F, what you can do is, if in state C you get one, you go back to state B itself. Okay. If you get one, you go to state B itself, and then you write the output as X. Okay. And if you get zero from here, you go back to state A. If you get zero, you go to state A and you write the output as Z. All right. So over here the output was Z. Over here the output is Z. And over here also the output is Z. Now what happens in state E? Over here if you get zero, you get output Y and you go to state F. So instead of that, you write one one zero. And if you get output zero, you go to state C. Okay. And the output is going to be Y. Okay. So one one zero, you go to state C and you have the output Y. 1, 0, 1, you go to state B and the output is X. Okay. What happens if you get 1, 0, 1, 0? So you are in state A, you get input 1, you go to B, you get 0, you go to state C, you get 1, you come back to state B, you have the output as X over here. So 1, 0, 1, that is one zero one zero. Okay. Over here, you are getting the sequence like this zero, sorry, Z output is Z for A to B. Then B to C output is again Z. Then from C to B, the output is X. So once you encounter one zero one, you're getting the output X. Okay. And over here again, you get zero. You encounter the output as Z. Okay. So what about one one zero zero? So one one zero zero so let's say you're in state a you get input one you go to state b and output is going to be z again you encounter one you go to state e okay and the output is going to be z then you get zero the output is going to be y and you go to state c so once you encounter one one zero you're getting your y also so this part is covered substring one zero one you're getting output x over here and substring one one zero you're getting output y that part is also covered. 
and over here if you get zero you go to straight a and the output is going to be z now we'll try one simple thing uh, let's say one one zero and then we have got one that is your encountering one one zero also and one zero one also what happens then okay now you are in straight a oh we are not uh, look let's write the what happens if you get one over here in straight e what happens then so let's say one 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 that you are getting then if you are getting one over here you will send it to itself okay and the output is going to be z all right so let's see now for a if you get input zero you go to straight a itself okay and the output is going to be z all right now i think we have covered everything mostly okay so let's say we get one one zero one so let's say you are in straight a okay you get input one you go to straight b output is going to be z then you get input one you go to straight e the output is going to be z then you get zero you go to straight c itself sorry you go to straight c and the output is going to be y so once you encounter one one zero you are getting the string or the output y over here if you get one you go to straight b okay and your output is going to be x so once you encounter 101 then you're getting x also okay so this has substring 110 that's why you're getting y this has also substring 101 that's why you're getting x so this is how we construct a milli machine for a binary input sequence that is if you get 101 you're getting your x if you are getting the input 110 then you're getting your y and for any other condition the output is going to be z okay so i hope you got this concept if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below thank you very much